seems to back away. Indeed. We must find this Inquisitor and the Titan Invictus. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Today, we're hunting an Inquisitor. I wonder if he's going to ask us some questions. Be not concerned with events beyond these walls. Work, focus, meet your quota. Increase productivity gains high favor from the Machine God. Well, not wrong. Increased productivity does make Machine God happy. Yeah, the Imperium is rather controlling. Thankfully, they're also the best thing in the setting. Well, not thankfully, I guess. I... Bleh. They're rather controlling, but they're also the best option, because everything else generally wants to eat your skull at best, and use your skull as some sort of demented... sex toy, to put it bluntly. At worst. Invictus seems undamaged at least. Titan Invictus seems unused, you mean? <laughs> this invasion not enough to bring out the War Titans. It takes hundreds to get a War Titan operational, Sergeant. Without them, it sits idle. Yeah, why is the newbie rec lecturing the Sergeant? Seriously, that doesn't make any sense. But yes, this is a Titan. They're big. And a warlord is a, isn't even the biggest class. I believe there's also emperor beyond it, and possibly castigator if you can't. That is an imperial titan on a dark age one. Although the castigator required warpy bullshit to build in the modern age and was corrupted by chaos, but whatever. Close enough. Captain, this is an auger station. I can scan for the Inquisitor's life signs. Access authorized. There. Lone human. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Ordo Xenos. He's in this wing of the Manufactorum. I read alien signals throughout the facility, and a large number converging on the Inquisitor's location. I'd like you to draw your attention to this. This is the seal of a Mechanicus. You know how earlier that servo skull that we talked with with the Inquisitor had an eye on it? Like a big stylized letter I? It also had I on it, as in the organ, but eh. This is the one for the Mechanicus. But it's got a bit of a change from usual, because usual it's red and white. Or even pure red, due to the sands of Mars. But this one is black and white, which has led to a few interesting theories. This one, due to events later in the game. I'd like to say that there's some bits of the Warhammer setting that are very not commonly known, and we'll be going into them, well, later. So I'd like to say that is a very interesting little detail that not many notice. It could also just be, of course, that I that it, uh, ugh, that it is being overthought by everyone who cares about it, and it is just the devs deciding to make a pretty-looking picture. Augers are what they call sensors in this setting, by the way. Do so if you're auger array, they're basically saying. You know, here's all the detectors and radar and lidar and sonar and whatever sensors. Now, if my memory serves, we have we have the classic yeah. elevator fight here. You don't stomp to, for your final stun with a power axe, by the way. Instead, you slam it into the ground, like so. Yeah. In the door. Do, 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 do. The Andros. Can you use this panel to contact our other forces? Another machine god symbol? But I can boost Vox range. Do it. Vox is basically radios, like they're Access. built into your armor usually. Ultramarine chapter. We're basically hooking in. Here, Captain. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Are you receiving? Captain, this is Sergeant Midas. Squad Solidus is on the ground and making for our objective. New orders, Midas. We are at Manufactorum Ajakis and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solidus to come secure the Invictus while I divert to a priority alarm. On our way, Captain. Midas out. I wonder if Sergeant Midas has a golden touch. 
Or if they're just making the minor reference because of all the bling the Imperium usually has on its armor. For anyone important, at least. You may notice the Guardsmen do not have much bling. This is because they are expendable s sacks of meat with flashlights and t-shirts. No, not actual flashlights and t-shirts, just in comparison to everything else. Still pretty useful, though. Sadly, terrain damage is, is something this game is a bit too old for most of the time, so doing things like chopping up consoles for funsies isn't actually an option. Pipes. The orcs are in the pipes. They're in the walls! <laughs> I didn't actually know those exploded. Good to know. Now, if there's an orc on top of a pipe, you want to shoot that orc instantly. Because they'll keep the pipe open for other orcs, which obviously has its issues. Incoming grenade, so I'm dodging. Hello there. Hello to you two. Goodbye to you two. They will open that pipe if you let them, but I killed them quickly enough that they didn't. In general, there's a lot of advantages to being quick, killing, and efficient in this map. What is this section of the map? Ugh. Making a quick all-around check to make sure there isn't anything else. I believe if I believe these do have something written on them actually, but I have never been able to figure out what. If anyone actually knows what's written on these, do tell me. It might just be the classic gibberish Latin text. It's used like everywhere. Libra Somnum or something. I want to call it Libra Somnum, but that's probably not the right name. Now we have another button. How much do you want to bet there are orcs on this platform? That's what my plot senses are telling me, at least. And again, I've been wrong before. We've also been right before. There are actually no orcs. I was actually expecting to have a bunch of them standing on this and attacking us as it came down. Music's very dramatic, though. Inquisitor, Ordo Xenos. Repeat authorization. Drogon, prepare the power source for immediate release. One moment. Master, disregard all safety protocols at. Speak clearly. Ah. Repeat authorization. Oh, the poor guy. Inquisitor Drogon? I am Drogon, and you are Saber. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. We received your distress call, but you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I am soldier and scientist, both Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? The power source is running the entire manufactorum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon? It is a complex device and an unstable one. If the orcs find it, they'll try and take it apart. It could detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. That's bad. Then we must move it to safety. And for that, Captain, I need your aid. You are wounded, Inquisitor Drogon. I'm a psyker. My psychic abilities are controlling the bleeding. Very well. Yeah. Psychers are basically the wizards of this setting, only there's a good chance whenever they use their powers, if they're not trained, to explode into horrible monsters. Xenos lifeboat detected. Cutscene. Here's the war boss again. 
There's only one. The orc himself. I'm gonna put your head on a spike, Spikes Marine. Stop. Yeah. You don't manage to for you still have to use a four-hit combo to kill a hard boy. Who's kind of annoying. Even with a power axe. But the two-hitting of normal orc boys does save you a lot of time. Now, if memory serves, this is when the pipe mechanic really comes into play. If my memory serves. Yep, they shot about this way out. Shoot the orc holding it open. Oh, that's clever. They used a hard boy to hold it open. Yeah, hard boys take, I believe, an entire boulder clip, perfectly aimed to kill. It's a lot less than that if you're using headshots, but I wasn't there. And there is one of the different animations for executing someone with a power axe. Quite pretty, if you ask me. Slam into the back, take off the head. Efficient. This sort of beauty and efficient killing. And again, that terribly sounds creepy as all hell. Yeah. Give me a quick check to make sure. Yep. Sorry, something slipped off. Alright. Back to the line of horribly murdering anything that moves. Well, it isn't on my side. I'm not going to murder Sidonis, Leandro, sir. The orc has a scent for us now. Damnable creature. Drogon? Had he not blundered onto this world? But he did, Drogon. I guess he is a psyker. He teleported through a door. Teleportation is a known psychic ability, mind, but I'm being a bit silly about what is obviously a glitch. Now, this game is not is not perfect by any means. I still like it, but it's got its bugs. This is one of the other pure upgrades. This basically has the same clip size as the bolt pistol, as but it also has superior armor piercing capability and use charge shots. I believe a fully charged shot will kill a hard boy in one hit, which makes it quite useful. It's a pure upgrade. And very pretty. There. Testing. We must get to that left. Bolt pistol has 10 shots, and this thing just fired off 15 before overheating. Something to note. It won't cool down until you actively tap R to vent. Or rather, it will do so, but very slowly. Mild nuisance. However, you never have to reload it, so. Eh. In addition, its shots also explode like grenades. Overall, the plasma pistol is a very nice upgrade over your baseline. Well, bolt pistol. Oh. Uh, boys want to give you a proper greeting. Yep, hard boys with shields now. They are very durable, as you can see. Yeah. However, while this gives him a lot of armor, because they resist damage very well, armor piercing damage, like say, a giant honking axe or a plasma gun, tends to say, sod you to them, quite effectively. Too bad they don't, doesn't sound like the bolt pistol though, because I love how the bolt pistol sounds. 
These just sound kind of eh. The other one had a good solid, you know. Felt more solid. Not as solid as this, though. You know, you got a good gun when the shot goes echo. That's just cool, you know? How much deeper does this facility go? The Manufactorum? Far deeper. The whole generator room is actually suspended above a venting shaft. Suspended? Yes. In case of catastrophic overload, the whole room can be shunted away into the depths. Yeah. But didn't you say it could explode? Like, the whole planet? Wouldn't putting it in deeper actually make that worse? Ah, yes. Here we are. Colder than a space with a smile in here. Yes, a byproduct of the device's functioning. Isn't that interesting? Now I am worried. Right. Let's keep moving. And we have a loading screen as I'm walking backwards. Okay, then. This one's taken a while. Alright, I was worried for a moment that it was bugged there. Yeah, I'm not sure why there was a huge loading screen. That was just weird. Hmm. Captain Titus. Ammo box. Proceed into the main chamber. We need only obtain the power source at the core of the generator. I will initiate decoupling from a control console. Understood. I'm sticking with the power axe. Be able Brothers, to hit the guard the access points. Very useful. I have engaged the decoupling sequence, Captain. You must keep the chamber secure until the power source is exposed. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Ordo Xenos. Primary shield is open, Captain. Head into the central chamber. I'm already here. Xenos detected. Oh, balls. Space Marine! These are weird boys. These are orc psychers. Captain, the war boss. Space Marine! They have their shield. They have shields, obviously, but you can wear the shields down by simply shooting them a lot. Hold back the green skins, Captain. The power source will be free of the generator shortly. Now this fight is hard. I'm going to basically be running in circles and trying not to die very hard. Oh, the war boss will be spamming rockets at you from above, as well as you having to fight two knobs at once. Oh, 
know what? Servitor station. I bet that's the servitor station. Yep, don't care about you hard boys. I'm activating a cutscene for magical cutscene powers. Then I'll take it for myself. Balls. No fair, I want magical cutscene powers. That damn orc will kill us all. Grab it, Captain. Force the power source into its canister. Quickly! Dramatic cutscene time. The whole room is coming down. Well, that was an explosion. Sidonus, Leandros, respond. Captain, the Inquisitor insisted you could not have survived. Well, I did, and I have his precious power source. We set a rendezvous in Hap Center Andris. These tunnels will spit us out there eventually. Fine. Continue heading toward the Hab Center. <sighs> I believe that is where we shall leave off today. After fighting two knobs, a bunch of hard boys, and being with a war boss who decided that he'd rather blow everything up than actually deal with with not getting all his shiny things, we shall be proceeding to the Hab Center. I guess I'll see you then. Goodbye.